Welcome on this tutorial. Wish all you are well. In this tutorial, I am going to explain how to implement internet based date time. To generate and show any time, we may use hardware RTC. Different hardware RTCs are available like DS1307, DS3231, PCF8563. But if we use those hardware RTC, the time which is produced from those the accuracy of those are not so high and different manual adjustments are required. But in this case, I will show how to get date and time from internet. As we are taking the time from internet, so accuracy in this case is too high. There is no option to get slow time or fast time. Here I shall use NTP server to get the time and date. I will use OLED display to show the date and time. I am going to use ESP8266 ESP01 module. So if required, please go through my previous tutorial where I have explained how to upload the code on ESP8266 ESP01, how to interface OLED display with ESP01. Go through the tutorial. If you have any comment or any query, please put it in comment section. Subscribe and support me. It will encourage me to upload more and more important tutorials. As here I am using network time protocol, so few words regarding it. Network time protocol is a networking protocol for clock synchronization between computer systems. In other words, it is used to synchronize computer clock times in a network. The protocol can be used to synchronize all network devices to coordinated universal time within a few milliseconds. 50 milliseconds over the public internet and under 5 milliseconds in a LAN environment. Coordinated universal time is a worldwide time standard closely related with Greenwich mean time. This coordinated universal time does not vary, worldwide it is same. Network time protocol operates in a number of ways. In most common configuration is to operate in client server mode. Here ESP8266 is an NTP client and pool.ntp.org is NTP server. The client device, here I am going to use ESP8266 ESP01. This connects to the server through internet using the user datagram protocol. Client then transmit a request packet to NTP server. In response to this request, the NTP server sends a timestamp packet within a few milliseconds. This timestamp packet is in coordinated universal time. The timestamp packet received by the client contains multiple information like Unix timestamp, accuracy, delay or time zone. From this timestamp packet, the client can then parse out current date and time values using libraries and programming code. To start with network time protocol with ESP8266, we need to install ESP8266 Arduino core, ESP8266 add-on. If anyone is using ESP8266 for the first time, then to install this ESP8266 Arduino core, please see my previous tutorial, how to upload program in ESP8266. For shortening the tutorial, I am not repeating that part. Now I need to install NTP client library. To install NTP client library, I am opening Arduino IDE. Entering through space, include library, manage library. For filtering my search, I am typing here NTP client. Here I can see NTP client by Fabrice Weinberg, EG NTP client by Harsha Alva. But I want to install NTP client library by Taranais. NTP client library by Taranais is better because it is easy to use and have functions to get formatted date and time from NTP server. As this library is not in Arduino library manager, so it needs to download and install. I am downloading NTP client from GitHub. The link is this one. I have given the link in description section. This is the code clicking here download zip start download this is the file ntp client master copy 
I am keeping it in desktop. Now opening Arduino ID. I need to add this zip file. For that entering through this case include library add dot zip library. In my desktop this is ntp client master dot zip. Open. Now I can check whether ntp client library has been installed or not. I can check from here. File. I can go to example. Say this is ntp client. And I got these different examples from advanced and basic section. Now I am using example code. Entering into advanced. This is the code. I am running this code to see whether I am getting time or not. Few changes I need here. I am changing access point name. I am changing password. Next I am using this server pool.ntp.org and I am changing here on 9800 this is the offset why I am using this offset I will explain later I am getting only the time here so this is the function get formatted time now I am uploading the code into ESP8266 ESP01 if anyone is using this for the first time and don't have any idea how to upload the code into ESP8266 ESP01 then go through my previous tutorial how to upload code in ESP8266 I am uploading the code here I just want to see whether my library is working or not from this code I will able to see the present time in serial monitor I have selected proper board and port also so uploading the code code has been uploaded now opening this real monitor see this is showing proper timing this is 15 hours 33 minute and 46 second my computer time is showing the same 3.33 pm so NTP client library has been installed properly and I am getting perfect time from NTP server now I am going to show time and date in my OLED display I need to change the programming code if anyone does not have any idea how to interface OLED display in ESP8266 please go through my previous tutorial in this series I am not repeating it here I have changed the code a little to get formatted date time and day of the week this is the code first I am uploading the code and let's see what is the output I am getting uploading the code to my ESP compiling case uploading uploading completed now let's see the result in serial monitor say say here we are getting formatted time in our mid second day of the week now today is Thursday and date 14th April 2022 so I am getting exact time day of the week and date now I am explaining the code which has been used here these are three libraries which are related for this work ntp client .h, this is the library to synchronize ntp server esp8266 wifi.h library this is used to provide esp8266 specific wifi methods need to connect to network wifi udp.h this library handles udp protocol like opening a udp port sending and receiving udp packets etc now this is for inserting the network credentials in the variable ssid and password so that the ESP8266 can connect to router to have access to the internet to request date and time from the NTP server. Now I need to create and initialize NTP client object who is having Wi-Fi UDP object, domain name of the server and time of set value. 
This time offset value is related with UTC. I am from India. According to location, it is plus 5 hours 30 minutes. So, converted it into second, this is 19,800. So, 19,800 is the time offset related to our location. Now, setting on array string, which is to find out the day of the week, that is Sunday to Saturday. Here, this library will provide the day of the week with the value of 0 to 6. 0 is corresponding value of Sunday and 6 is the corresponding value of Saturday. In the setup, serial.begin with baud rate 115200. This is initialization of serial monitor. This to this is to connect our device with Wi-Fi with corresponding SSID and password. And inside the setup, we must initialize the NTP client by begin method. Now to get the time, we need to update and we do the update by using this update method. Serial.print line, this is just for getting on blank line in serial monitor. This is the method get formatted time. This method is used to get the formatted time in hour, minute and second. We can get the individual hour, minute and second value. For that case, we use get hours method, get minutes method and get seconds method and save the value in ACs, MN and second variables. I will use this for OLED display. Now to get the day of the week, I have used get day method. This get day method will provide integer value which is 0 to 6, 0 corresponding to Sunday and 6 corresponds to Saturday. I have already used one array string to get the exact day corresponding to the value given by the method get day. Next to get the date. To get formatted date, I have used this get formatted date method. This get formatted date method provides the output as a format like this, which consists of date. The first part is the date. So from here, I need to separate the date part. And to separate the date part, I have used this index of method, index of the argument t, which provides the position of t in this string output. So according to the position, I am able to separate date, month and year. To separate date, month, year from the index value of t, I have used this substring method. This first substring method which provides the date that is 14, which is the string value from the index 8 to the index underscore date that is 10, 8 to 10. I get month value from index 5 to 7. I get year value from index 0 to 4. After getting the date, I have formatted it in the form of DDMM and YYY and ultimately stored the value in a variable date. And we have printed out the date in the serial monitor. So say in the serial monitor, I am getting perfect time. Now it is 11 hour 52 minute 4 second. This today's day Thursday and this is the date 14th April 2022. Now I am connecting my OLED display with my hardware and for that I need to change or I need to introduce some instructions for using OLED display. First adding the libraries which are needed for using OLED display. There are the libraries wire.ace, adapt underscore gfx.ace, adapt underscore ssd1306.ace. I am connecting OLED display with I2C connection. So this wire.ace is needed. And these two are for getting the display one OLED display. Now defining the size of the display which I am going to use. I am going to use a display which is 128 cross 64 which have no reset pin. And the address of this OLED display is 3C in hex. The first thing we need to create an object and initialization of this object with screen width, height and the connection we are using. That is the 2A connection or I2C connection. In the setup function, I need to initialize and start the OLED connection. So I am adding here the function where.begin. This is the initialization and this is the GPIO pin which I have used here, the GPIO 2 and GPIO 0. We need to initialize 
displayed at begin method with the initialization of these two arguments. Next, before getting the time on the display, at the starting, I want to see silence and progress. For that, I am using these instructions. This is the setting. Text size value is 1. Color is white. Cursor is at 5 comma 30. And the display which I want to see that is silence and progress. Next, entering into loop. After getting hour, minute, second individual value, I want to display it on OLED display. So, using this code, setting the character size with parameter 2 and cursor is at 00, 0 position. For displaying AM and PM according to value of hour, I am using this to if instruction. In first instruction is when value of hour is greater than 12, then we want to print PM and if value of hour is less than 12, we need to print AM. Next, to get Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, that is day of the week, I am using this code, setting the cursor position as 20, 25, text size parameter is 2 and display the value of the week. Next, I want to display formatted date. So, after getting formatted date, I am displaying here by using this code cursor position set 0, 0,50 size is 2 and this is the value which will be displayed on OLED display. I think the code is completed. Now I am uploading the code on my hardware that is ESP. OLED display is connected with my ESP. Now I am taking my ESP in programming mode. pressing reset button now my ESP is in programming mode uploading the code before that I am checking board yes it is generic ESP 266 and port that is com port perfectly selected now pressing this upload button compiling is case see a green light here this indicates that code is being uploaded on ESP8266 uploading completed now I am setting ESP in run mode I am pressing the reset button OLED display should show exact date and time let's see Yes, something coming. Yes, silence and progress. Yes, it is showing the exact time. Now it is 1 hour 32 minutes 22 second pm. Today's day is Thursday and today's date is 14th April 2022. So, my OLED display is showing exact time, day and date. The time which is showing on OLED display exactly same as the time which is showing on my desktop.